Hey everybody, um, so tonight I am clearing out my freezer of the frozen bananas <laughs> that I keep um, and I'm going to be making banana muffins, banana bread, um, just baking to get rid of them. It's the same recipe, I just used the different pans to cook them and um, yeah, so I make like quite a few batches. So I'm starting with three bowls and I'll like get ready three sets of batter all at once together. It's just easier that way. But depending on how many bananas I have, it looks like I might have more than that. So we'll see, I might be baking for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get my recipe book. Each recipe needs a half a cup of margarine and a cup of white sugar. A half a cup of margarine is the same as one of these like baking squares that you get. Um, so I'm gonna put one of those in each bowl and one cup of sugar in each bowl and then cream them together. It's called creaming them when you just mix them until they're totally mixed together. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then each recipe needs two eggs. Okay, then each recipe needs, um, it says a cup of mashed bananas. I take four um, bananas per recipe. And um, like I don't measure a cup, I just put four in each one and um, mash them up. So here I go. So the bananas are still a little bit frozen, as you might have saw. So I just put the bowl in the sink and I filled the sink around it with like really hot water. Um, but that's okay because I'll just get ready the muffin pans right now while I wait for that. Just a couple minutes should be good. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next steps. The bananas like still aren't ready. I don't know, they're taking forever. So um, you need to put in each recipe 
a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So I usually do that all at once. And then the last ingredient is the flour, one and three quarters a cup of flour, but I don't want to put flour in before the bananas are in. So I'll do the salt powder and soda, um, and then check the bananas again. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead with this one because the bananas aren't ready yet. But since I'm doing like so many batches, I need a lot of time in the oven anyways. And I would have to wait anyways, like to put the next batch in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one and three quarter cup of flour in for this one. And I'm also gonna put, um, this is banana bread. So some people put nuts, some people, I don't know, I don't think I've ever had with raisins, but you could put raisins, but that's gross, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> and then you can put, of course, any type of like chips, like chocolate chips or whatever. Um, and so I put, I think I usually put a cup of chocolate chips in per recipe and I shove the whole recipe into um, 18 muffins. And um, this, this, the, and they're very chocolatey. So if you don't like a lot of chocolate, you maybe want to just do half a cup or yeah, spread it out with more muffins. But I only have one regular size, like that makes twelve muffins, and then I have one that makes six. So um, I want to use up a whole batch with just the pans that I have. So. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay. I normally buy chocolate chips in bulk, um, usually milk chocolate chips, but um, I've had these in my freezer for a while and my friend gave them to me, so we're gonna try them today. They're called Camino. Uh, fair trade chocolate chips bittersweet they say so I hope like I'm all for organic but I want the chocolate chips to like taste sweet I know that natural chocolate is bitter but I don't want it to taste like that so I hope that it ends up tasting pretty good so <laughs> we'll see what happens And that's what the batter looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go pour it into the cups now. So those are in the oven. Um, if they're muffins, they'll take about um, 20 minutes. And then you can test them with like a butter knife if you stick the knife in and it comes out pretty clean. Um, except I put so much banana in that lots of the times it doesn't come out clean, but you just have to like look at it and decide is that just banana goo or is it like actually the batter is not cooked yet. So. You can also watch the edges and make sure that the edges are brown. That's a good indication. And then when you take it out of the oven, if you leave them in the pan while the pan's still hot, um, it'll still be kind of cooking a little bit. Um, so yeah. All right, we're gonna try these bananas again.
Okay, so everything's ready to go in the oven. Let's see. The muffins have about five minutes left. And they're looking good. Okay, and then I have this tray of like mini loaves and then a regular loaf. So the mini loaves are a lot bigger than the um, cupcake like muffins. So they take about 30, 35 minutes to bake. And then the regular loaf pan takes about an hour. I put for 55 minutes and then I check it and that's usually good. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna make any more. These bananas are still frozen. Um, so I'm just gonna put them back in the freezer because I honestly am kind of tired and I want to read. I need to get my 100 pages in today still and I think it's like 10 or it's close to 10 o'clock. So, but I have to stay up anyways to, um, cause I'm baking the bread. So, but I gotta do the dishes too. Yeah, um, I will show you uh, once they're all baked what it looks like. If, hopefully I remember, but if not, I'll do it tomorrow morning anyways. Okay.